Hello everybody, welcome back to Nick Plays Pokemon Violet. I guess I'm just going to call it by what the DLC is. We're playing the Teal Mask right now, uh, so welcome back to that. Third episode of the Teal Mask. Uh, we're currently running through, we're supposed to be following our Blueberry Academy companion, Kieran. I believe that's his, what his name is. I want to call him Kiki because that's what his, that's what Carmine calls him. But that's just weird. Uh, right now, we talked to Perrin in the last episode and... If you guys look at her, she looks a lot like Adaman from uh, Legends Arceus. And as you can see, she has a history and Growlithe. She's a photographer, and she wants us to battle her. So, that's what we're going to do. I, I'm going to just... Yes, I, I, I hope she's not going to just destroy me, because that will suck. She's not strong. Uh... Okay, that's fine. Apparently she's not strong. I highly doubt that. Perrin, the photographer. And like I said in the last episode, Perrin is in my like top five favorite like female. I, I guess NPCs. Main main character NPCs. You have a knock towel? Nice. Basically, to be able to battle her, you have to get 150 Pokemon in the Kitakami uh, Pokedex. Level 68, yeah. I'm not doing too bad. Oh. No. You need to wake up right now, Skeledurg. Well, that's terrible. Dream Eater. All oh, right, Dream Eater heals. I forgot about that. Come on, wake up. There we go. Use Fire Blast. Finally, yeah, burn. That's great. I love how it doesn't affect me, yet I took damage from it in the last turn. Oh, yeah, Dream Eater's a psychic. It's because I'm not asleep, that's why. Meowskarada leveled up, and same with uh, Baxcalibur. I'm gonna get rid of Takedown. I don't really need Takedown. I realize takedown is a stronger move, but I don't need the recoil damage. Alephion. Alephion, of all Pokemon. You send out Alephion. Alephion is fast. But super effective. I'm also like 10 levels higher than you. Nice. All right, let's keep going. We got to go find Kieran. A Blood Moon Beast. Oh, yeah. So the Blood Moon Beast, it's a, it's an Ursaluna. It's a special version of an Ursaluna, like another form. So certain Ursaluna I've been searching for. It's known as the Blood Moon Beast. Yep. Used to live in my homeland way back when people still called the region Hiswi. So, I don't know then. So, it's legend. It doesn't make sense to me. But I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. A 
Timeless Woods. Uh, okay, so at some point we're going to have to go to the Timeless Woods and find the Blood Moon Beast. I believe it counts as a separate Pokemon. Um, okay, so where are we going? We still have to go to Loyalty Plaza. That's Infernal Pass. Timeless Woods, I think, was northeast. Yeah, that's far. We're not going that way yet. Well, we'll go meet Kieran. Actually, I have to check something, because, like... No, not that one. What? So, with the normal Pokedex, I have 385 out, out of 385. There's 400 Pokemon, so I'm missing 15. Kitakami! Looks like there's like 200 maybe. Who? Who do I not have that I saw that I don't actually have yet? That that actually is gonna bother me. Oh yeah, Pol Polche Polchegeist. Kill your apple. Makes a certain type of Pokemon evolve. I'm just trying not to run into any Pokemon. Oh, this guy wants to battle. That's a Poochiena. It's a Waddle. Spinarak. Spinarak, depending. Sentra just stopped it. Yeah, I know I could be battling everybody to get more Pokemon in my Pokedex, but at this, at this point, it's like, I don't know what other... Oh, yeah, this is where you find all the evolution items for uh, Applin. Because Applin got a new evolution in this... That Ekans was, like, glitching out. Yeah, Applin got a new evolution. And... I need to get it. I believe it's another dragon, but I'm not actually sure. Uh, we take a right. Ah, Puchena. Pichu there. Oh, I got a rare candy. Nice. I hope you don't want to battle. Rotom phone apps. A new feature. What would you put on it? Oh, nice. So now if I were to go to my Rotom phone. Yeah. Crystal pool. Oh, interesting. I'm just distracted by everything. Loyalty Plaza, where is this dude? That's the first signboard. Yeah, there's like three Pokemon, and then there's the, the the Teal Mask Pokemon. Oh, and it came down from the mountain, and terrible rage caused a great fear in the village. By some strict luck, Okie, Okidogi, Monkey Dory, and Fezandipiti. Fezandipiti. All happen to be there as well. Three Pokemon lead down their lives to fend off the ogre and send it back to the mountain. In admiration, the people of the village bestowed upon this brave trio 
the title of the Loyal Three, which are legendary Pokemon, which we will get later on. Uh, the remains were given a proper burial, and statues of the three were erected above the site. Loyal Three Monument is right over there. Yeah, that would just sound cool. Is it a smartphone? Yes, we're going to have a sandwich. Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> Uh, of course, you're gonna come out for a sandwich. Some kind of kaiju or something. Right, now. This is Mariadon. Yeah, <laughs> whenever he hears the word sandwich, yeah, that's, that's about true. Yeah, and Agias, I remember that. Oh my gosh, it's been a while. It's a legendary Pokemon. Yes, I'm special. Have you seen me? That was a really bad thing to say. So that's... Yeah, no. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I... Yeah. Anyways, um... No, I think I am. I am special. Like, not... How do I put it? Everyone's special in their own way, right? Like... Because everyone... The way I see it is like being special is the same as is, it kind of ties into your uniqueness, your unique, your uniqueness of your own personality makes you special and everyone's special in my own eyes. Like they're all special in their own way. Right. And that's how I see it. So like I see myself as special in my certain way, like, well, it would be hard for me to kind of describe it just because I don't know how to describe it, but that, that that's kind of what I'm trying to get at. Like everyone is special in their own way. Yeah. But you should you didn't give you didn't give Mariah on a sandwich. Uh there is a gravestone. I believe that this is it, yeah. Loyal Three Monument. I love how there's like a hose there and everything. Okay, yeah, we're gonna actually... I forgot how to... I, yeah, I really don't remember how to fly Applin Juice. Um, nah, it's not the map. So, yeah, we have to go back to the most sweet town. And then we have to go along this road. Oh, look, there's a TM here. Cool. All right, let's keep going. I, I I just I wonder what kind of things we'll see on the way there. I love how she calls everyone outsiders.
Yes, I'm just literally speeding through everything. Okay, see, there's Stantlers here. More Sentrets. Yes. All the items. Oh, that's a Squobat. Oh, nice, a Max Revive. That's a little... But, like, you won't see me catch a lot of Pokemon in the DLC, unless they're, like, brand new Pokemon. But even then, it's like, I might do all of that off-camera. So at this point... Uh, that's Fomantis. At this point, a lot of what I'm going to be doing for the, for the DLC... <clears throat> is literally just getting through the story. Why'd you whistle? This looks like a place where you can battle people. Huh. Herder, girder, that's girder. Or is that Conkled? No, that's not Conkledor. Conkledor is even bigger. Nice. Got all these like stores that are here. Damn yeah, on fire terror shards. Oh, that's a uh... That's a Snorlax. Hey, Snorlax. You look exactly like my beanbag cushion one. It's not really a beanbag, to be honest. Oh, it's the caretaker here. I wanted to grab this item before... This is where we want to be. I'm hoping that we're going to find more about... Uh... Yeah. Uh, let's read the sign. <clears throat> the ogre possessed four mysterious glimmering masks. Oh, so that's the teal mask Pokemon. It said that depending on the mask the ogre donned, the powers of its... Whatever would change. Good girl. <sighs> when wearing the teal mask, it could bring life back into withered greenery around it. <sighs> when wearing the teal mask, it could bring life back into withered greenery around it. When wearing the crimson mask, it could turn a candle flame into a raging inferno. When wearing the blue mask, it could stop the very flow of a river. When wearing the ash and gray mask, it could easily break the hardest stone in two. Before the loyal three fell, they wrestled away three of the ogre's masks, greatly weakening it. Did you read it? Yes, I did. Oh, so Kitakami Hall has the three masks. Cool. Hmm. Come on. I want to get stronger so I can do things for myself, you know? Oh my gosh, if you start saying you know, it's like, that's Naruto all over again. You better believe it, you know? Uh, someone could rely on it, maybe. Cool. Nice. On to the next signboard. Oh, you know the mountain of the stairs? That's actually Oni Mountain. You can climb from the stairs over there. Cool. The Dreaded Den. Yeah, I do want to see it. Maybe I could capture it. I 
Be careful. Okay. Cool. Okay, we're going to continue this in the next episode. So stay tuned for more. Make sure you guys follow my socials and my Twitch for more content. And make sure you guys stay tuned for more of the Teal Mask. Yes, I know this came out like almost a year ago. No, it was like probably like six months ago, six, seven months ago. Because I know Indigo Disc came out in beginning of December. So that's been over almost two months now. So, yeah, <laughs> we'll get through this. So stay tuned for more and make sure you guys, yeah, make sure you guys follow all my stuff and stay tuned for the next episode of the Teal Mask. So thank you guys for watching this one and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.